I'm Brooks Hanley, and I'm an application support engineer at Keysight Technologies. Uh, here we have our brand new spectrum analyzer, the UXA, and its complementary spectrum, uh, sorry, signal generator, the UXG. So the, the great thing about the UXA is it's, it has a multi-touch interface, and you can actually you, you can pinch and zoom uh, the spectrum here, um, just you know, just like an iPhone. And it has it has 510 megahertz of real-time bandwidth. So right now. In, uh, in spectrum mode, you can see all the way up to the full 26 and a half gigahertz. And we're, we're kind of zoomed into these pulses over here at, on the lower frequency spectrum uh, using our real-time spectrum analyzer uh, capability. So we, can, we have 510 megahertz of real-time capability. Uh, the UXG is a fast uh, frequency switching source. So we can switch frequency and change am amplitude in under 200 nanoseconds. Uh, the UXG speaks the language of electronic warfare, and what we mean by that is um, instead of IQ data, it uses something called a pulse descriptor word. So we describe different emitters or pulses from different radar sources um, in text files. So each row represents a different emitter, um, and, and you can design these different emitters in any kind of, say, Excel, or you can directly enter it into the box. But in order to set up millions of pulses, you wouldn't want to do that manually. We have our Signal Studio for multi-emitter scenario generation software that, that it will actually allow you to um, generate these pulse descriptor words automatically. And what, it'll, what it does is you specify how many UXGs you have, um, you can, and how many emitters, what type of emitters you have, whether it's a search or a tracking radar. Um, and, and, and also, so basically it's one to N emitters and one to N UXGs. And it, the software will decide how to spread those across the UXGs, it'll load balance. You can prioritize between different uh, emitters um, so that there's no collisions in time. Um, and all of that is very straightforward. Um, over here, we have, um, we have our, our S-series oscilloscope running our vector signal analysis software. And um, so basically you can see we have a linear FM chirp signal. Um, so, in, you know, frequency is on the vertical axis, uh, time here. Um, the parabolic phase is below, and then uh, the, kind of the time domain is here. And then we have the, the whole uh, kind of one gigahertz spectrum of the chirp signal um, up in the left corner. And um, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, visit keysight.com.